Lord Jesus. We bow down this morning and we worship you, O oh God. We worship you, O oh God. You are Yahweh, O oh God. Alpha and Omega, you are Yahweh. Come and do, Lord. What only you can do, Jesus. You are the mighty man of war, O oh God. You are the lion of Judah, Lord Jesus. We arise this morning to bow down and worship you, O God. Hallelujah. You are Yahweh. Hallelujah. Hey, come and do what only you can do. Hallelujah. We arise this morning, O God, and worship you, O God. Come and do what only you can do. Hey. Mm. Ooh. 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 You had a God of killer. Also make a lie. Hallelujah. You are the Lord. Yet you are the Lamb of God. Yahweh. Yahweh, come and do what only you can do. Hallelujah. You are my glory. You are my glory. You are the mighty man of war, Lion of Judah. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. We bow down and we worship you. Yahweh, Yahweh, oh, come and do what only you can do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we bow down and we worship you. Father, we give you praise and we give you worship this morning, Lord. Thank you for your preservation and sustain us, O oh God. Hallelujah. The husband to the widow you are. You are the help to the helpless. We worship you this morning. Hallelujah. We give you praise, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory. Blessed be your name in the name of Jesus. Good morning to you. My name is Pastor Joy, and this is the platform of Behold Your God. Today is Monday, the 18th of July, 2022. The year is going Look at it. Today is already 18th of July and every day is counting and every day is going. Remember that the, 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 the summation of your days on earth is calibrated in days. And that is why we are careful to make sure we maximize every single day. Every day that passes can never return back again. And the days God has given us, we are expected to do all that we are supposed to do in it. So we are here declaring the word of God that God has commanded us. As of course, we know that we have the enemy, the devil, who wants to make sure that God's plans and purposes for our life doesn't come to pass. But who is he that spoke and it came to pass when the Almighty have not commanded it. It is what the Almighty has commanded that we declare. And that is what is coming to pass. And in case in your life there is a walk of darkness, in case around your family, your business, or your health, there is a walk of darkness. Today we declare that whatever God has 
not declared over your life that is made manifest in your life is crumbling. In the name of Jesus, you will rise and maximize your day. In the name of Jesus, this is Behold Your God. From this platform, we declare the counsel of God. We herald his counsel in this generation. The Lord has commanded us to speak forth his word with strength. And every weekday we are here declaring the word of God and pronouncing the judgment upon the wicked. The Bible says that whatever tongue that rise against us in judgment, we shall condemn. We don't keep quiet when we hear words that are being pronounced against us in the place of prayer, in declaration, we condemn. And in case there is a tongue that has risen against your destiny, in case there is a demonic curse or spell over your destiny, as we declare the word of God, we declare the sword of the spirit, tears and separates your destiny from the pronounced failure, the pronounced setback the enemy have arranged. There is somebody throughout this week as this word of God is going forth into your life. Every demonic decree, every demonic pronouncement, every verdict of hell over your destiny shall be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We want to thank God for the plans he has on earth. We want to thank God for what he has begun to do. We give him praise for all the many things he has in store for his people. We have been declaring the counsel of God. Last week we looked at what the Lord has in mind. He said, as I have proposed it, and that is how it's going to stand. We have looked at what the Lord has done, what he has said. And this week we continue as we look at another topic, beholding the love of the Father. That is what we are looking at this week. We are going to look at how to recognize where God is showing us love. You know, showing us love, God has his own love language. <laughs> Hallelujah. He has a way of communicating his love to us, but it's it's very unfortunate that people don't see it. The Bible says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. So one of God's love language is giving. In so many places in the scriptures, we're going to see how God showed his love. And I'm trusting God as we display this love, it will be beheld. And whatever darkness, whatever covering that have covered the mind of the people that they could not see this love of God, it will be torn into pieces. And people People will behold the love of God. The love God has shown to us. The love sometimes God shows to some people may be in the form of patience, in the form of, in the form of forgiveness, in the form of enduring. Oh, so many ways God, in form of giving, God has been so merciful. He has shown us his love in several ways. Yet, some people are not seeing the love of God. They are asking questions about the promises of God. Oh, like Gideon of old, he could not fathom what it is. He said he has heard so many great things the Lord has done. Why is he not saying it? Can I assure you that even in this generation, God is speaking. He is showing his love. He is showing his word. We are trusting God throughout this week as we look at this display of the love of God. I want to read as I start from the scriptures where the word of God told us about the love of God. Praise the name of Jesus. I'm going to read the book of First John. Hallelujah. Chapter 3, verse 1. It says, What? Behold. Ah, I like that. Behold. And that is what I hear. This is behold your God. We behold, we harrow, we, we want it to be seen. Now he said, Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us. That we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Behold what manner, what type of love, that's what kind, what manner. We have seen all manner of displays of some things, but this kind of love, he, the Apostle John was describing it. He said, what manner of love is this? We are going to look at this manner of love that God has for us. This kind of love that God has shown us. 
We're going to look at it throughout this week. And I'm trusting God as we look at this love, it will melt our heart. As we look at this God, we will behold him as he is. As we look at this God, we're going to respond to this love of the Father. Because anybody who does not have this love, who has not responded to this love, the Bible says that they do not have the love of God in their heart. I'm trusting God that everyone who have not seen this love, who have not understood, to this love, who do not have this love of God in their heart through this week as we declare the love of God, they will encounter the love of the Father. They will come and see really how God has demonstrated this love towards us. And then the shackles and the hold of the darkness will be broken out of their life. Because I want to assure you, as long as you have not found out the love that God has for you, you will be under the slavery the captivity, the suppression, the wickedness of the devil. Your life will be a display of all manner of the works of the devil. But when you behold the love of God, you will be drawn to this love and you will be saved from the snares of the devil. And he says, behold. We have to behold it. Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed, has placed has put upon us that we should be called the sons of God. Only to be called the sons of God is a love because we, 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 we went astray. Man went his own way, every one of us, and this manner of love made us to be called back and then we are called the sons of God. Remember, Adam was called the son of God. He was created in his own image. Let no one deceive you. If you are not in God, you are not a child of God. You are not one of the sons or daughters of God. Adam was in the image of God, but when he failed, his image that he bared of God got distorted. And do you know what? God has been on a quest to recover his children. And it is a love displayed when we see that we are called the children of God. He said, therefore the world know us not. You should understand very clearly that the world does not know us, doesn't understand us. I tell you, the world does not know us. Know us not because it knew him not. Now we're going to look at the practical places where God demonstrated his love. And as we look at these practical places, I want you to look into your life and begin to notice where God has been showing you love and you've not even recognized it. So many places God shows us love. And because we, 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 we the, the, the Bible says the God of this world has blinded the mind. Not only is he blinding the mind of unbelievers, he tries to take from us the places God has shown us and displayed his love. We pray there will be a recovery this week in this area so that the things the enemy has tried to do to hinder us from the love of God, all those things will be broken. And as we see God as he is, we're going to fall in love with him again and again. If you see the relationship that the Lord has with the children of Israel. He will always tell them this about his love for them. He said, dear, will I show you my love? I will express my love for you. God loves us. He is called love. Now, it is not the kind of love we see displayed in this generation where somebody will say, I love you and they are stabbing you at the back. Not the kind of love that makes people to, you know, to give you things that will kill you, intoxicate you and make you to, to be out of the way. What kind of love is that? I tell you something God is called love for God is love and in him there is complete love he keeps loving us even when we go astray I want to read the word of God from the book hallelujah as we look at the display of what God has done <laughs> we're gonna read the book of numbers we're gonna read from verse 4 to verse 9 mm, some few just five scriptures we're going to look at how God showed this love. Numbers chapter 21, from verse 4 to 9, it says, And they journeyed from Mount Hor by the way of the Red Sea, hmm, to compass the land of Edom. And the soul of the people was much discouraged because of the way. Note that. 
the soul of the people were much discouraged because of the way. Now, that led to something. And the people spake against God. Hmm. And against Moses. Why? The Bible says their soul was much discouraged because of the way he's leading them. And then they began to respond and react. The Bible says they spake against God. They spake against Moses. Wherefore have we have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no bread. <coughs> Neither is there any water. And our soul looted this light bread. Verse 6 says. And the Lord sent fairy serpents among the people. <laughs> and they beat the, beat the people. And much people of Israel died. Wow. Verse 7. Therefore. The people came to Moses and said, We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord and against thee. Pray unto the Lord that he take away the serpents from us. And Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said to Moses, Make thee a fairy serpent and set it upon a pole. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is beaten, when he looketh upon it, shall live. Verse 9. And Moses made a serpent of brass and put it upon a pole. Wow. And it came to pass that if a serpent had beaten any man, when he beheld the serpent of brass, he lived. Praise the Lord. This is a description of the display <laughs> of the love of God. It described how God demonstrated his love. Now look at this. The Bible says something happened. They were on a journey just as we are all in the journey of life. And they came to a particular place where the journey became difficult. The Bible says the road was difficult and they were discouraged. Their soul was discouraged because of the way they were going. And because they were so discouraged, the Bible says they began to speak. They spoke against Moses. They spoke against God. Of course, God got angry. And anytime you go out of the way, something will surely happen. The Bible says that God released serpents that is snakes. <laughs> and it began to bite them. And so many people died. Do you know the truth is that the consequences of what we do usually follow us. But I thank God for intervention, just like today, there is an intervention being released upon us. If you are hearing this word, God doesn't want the consequences of what you did in going astray from God to hit you. And he is reminding you of his love. The Bible says that the Lord commanded Moses to make a fairy serpent. He made it of bronze. And he made this serpent. He rolled it upon the rope or the pole. Even Jesus spoke about the serpent. He said the way that Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. That is how the son of God will be lifted up. That whosoever believeth. And him will not perish. What a description of the love. Now, the things that we do, we deserve it. The consequences of the things we do, we fully deserve it. Yet, God doesn't want the, the, the consequences to stick to us. In case you are already ripping, and sometimes you tell yourself, I deserve it. After all, I'm the one that did this. After all, I'm the one that entered into fornication. All this disease I'm, I'm having in my body now it is justified. They have said I'm going to die. But you know the mercy of God can intervene over that medical report. 
If only you can look and believe. And I thank God that what was done in this place, Jesus talked about it. He told us very clearly, whosoever shall look up and believe on the Son of God shall be saved. The love of God is holding us back from receiving the consequences of our sin. We have to behold this love of God, look into your life and see the places where God has been showing you his love, where he has been displaying. You know, sometimes you expect some consequences of something to come on you, but somehow it was averted and you are thinking it's a coincidence. It is God showing you love. So many times the devil really wants some things to come upon you as a consequence. But you know what? God said, not now. I am holding on. I'm holding on. The Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes, because the judgment for the evil that we do is not fully released upon us, men has made up their mind to continue in sin. You know, to, if you look at it, it looks as if it is a weakness from God. It will look as if ah God doesn't really um doesn't really want uh uh uh, uh he, he 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 tolerates no he doesn't he is a holy God. You may say actually I did this I actually was thinking that the consequences should come by now it has not come and because of it the Bible says that men have filled their mind to continue in their wickedness. Now listen to me that is very dangerous. If you are living a life of sin or you have an unconfessing in your life the Bible says whosoever covers his sin will not prosper. God showed us his love. The Bible says very clearly he loved us. Not that we love him, he loved us first. And we see the display of his love. Everything the devil have done, everything the enemy has sponsored into your life that makes you not to see the love of God. Rather, we are seeing judgment. We are seeing as if God is just uh, forsaking you. Don't you realize that the, the soul that sinned, it shall die. Have you forgotten it? The soul that sin it, it shall die. And God doesn't want the consequences of your sin. Somebody hearing me right now, it is God's determined counsel this week that you will return back to him. Yes, there is a hanging judgment of a sudden death upon a lady because of the consequences you have been involved in, pro in prostitution. I don't know where you are located, but there is a judgment hanging over your head right now. But God said, I don't want that judgment to call upon you is supposed to have come but the mercy of God is delaying it so that you can hear this word today behold the love that God has for you and as you behold it you will come in repentance you will come weeping you will come repenting and God will wash away your sin Jesus appeared he took away our sin as he was hanging on the cross he looked like that brazen serpent that Moses was was hanging up there in the wilderness all they needed to do is to look can you look at that again let's look at that scripture again and see the beauty of what god has the bible says therefore the people came to moses and said we have sinned for we have spoken against the lord <laughs> and against thee Pray unto the Lord that he take away the serpent from us. And Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said to Moses, Make thee a, a, a fairy serpent and set it upon a pole. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is beaten, when he looketh upon it, shall live. And Moses made a serpent of brass and put it upon the pole. And it came to pass that if a serpent has beaten any man, when he beheld a serpent of brass, he lived. There is a miracle happening here. It's a miracle happening here. The Bible says, people were beaten, and that is a poisonous snake. Some people have already died. Of course, there are people that are already in hell because of the serpent. The Bible says, whosoever breaks the edge, the serpent will bite. But God wants us to see the reason why he has preserved your life till now. It's not because he is weak in judging sin. It's not because he doesn't want to just pronounce judgment upon you. It's because he wants to see you you have to see this love of God it is a miracle itself on its own that anyone that just look all you need to do is to look there is an old hymn that says look and live 
my brother live look to jesus now and live is recorded in his word hallelujah it is only that you look and live look at the word of God. Look into the counsel of God. See that all you need to do is to believe the scriptures and you shall live. That is a miracle. It doesn't matter the venomous snake that are beating you. It doesn't matter the poison of that snake. That is the devil. He's called a snake. Yes. It doesn't matter the bite of the devil already in the system of your life and your destiny. It doesn't matter the distorted display over your destiny. Somebody hearing me today. The Lord wants to remove the venom of that snake in your destiny. He's already displaying in your life the bible says in case somebody has been beaten by this snake all you need to do is to lift your eyes and look if only you can look you will live and jesus demonstrated it tomorrow i'm gonna show that scripture he said yes. moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness so also will the son of man be lifted up for whosoever believeth that he on him shall not perish but have eternal life you will live if only you can see this love of god god is not counting your sin on you isn't it amazing isn't it amazing that god is not counting your sin that is the good news we carry if you see us brutally declaring words it's because we are resisting that cloud of darkness that is making people not to see the light of god the bible says the god of this world has blinded the mind of the people for them not to see that that, that god really is not counting their sin on them it is the devil that brings condemnation that is why the bible told us in the book of romans chapter 8 verse 1 there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. Today, I want to pray for somebody who says, I have had the biting of the snake. Can I describe it to you? When you have gone astray, when you have been involved in sexual immorality, when right now you have some things in your system that is not there before, when you are trying to manage your health because you went astray and involved yourself in some things, when you are looking at your children because of your carelessness, maybe your children have seen you live a life of immorality and now you cannot hold them back in immorality. That is a biting of the snake. The Lord said, if only you can look today, you shall be saved. I want to speak for somebody. I want to speak into the life of somebody who said I have been beaten by the snake. The word of God said look unto Jesus. Maybe the snake of life has beaten you. The venom is very clearly seen in your, in your life. It's been displayed today. Somebody, the power of God is available. All you need to do is to look and live. This is the love of God demonstrated to you. God is not counting your sin against you god is telling you i am not counting your sin it is the devil condemning you but unless you come your sin will find you out there is no other time there is no other name given among men whereby you must be saved you think you have time you don't have time child of god today god is saying come back home what a love the father has given to us he gave us the privilege to be called a son of god how can a prostitute now be called a son of god oh the apostle paul said and such we are some of you you were once in, in immorality you were once extortioners you were once fraudulent people you lived all manner of lascivious life oh in gluttony in drunkenness but he said we have been washed we have been sanctified we have been glorified today the Lord is extending his love to somebody all you need to do wherever you are just say after me say Lord I accept your love say Heavenly Father I accept your love it is amazing Lord 
You are not counting my sins to me. And today, I ask you to forgive me. Let them bite. The devil has beaten my life and destiny. Father, as I behold you today, let me receive my healing. Somebody that reports that is already evident in your life will be dried up by the reason of the healing that is flowing right now. That medical report, that verdict of hell, that thing that you are seeing right now in your family, the power of God is arresting it. That venomous venom of the enemy that he has beaten in your destiny is losing its effect. That's a miracle. And that miracle is happening in somebody's life today. Lift up your voice and say, Lord, I receive this healing in the name of Jesus. Father, let your healing flow. People are praying right now for healing and forgiveness of their sin. Father, thank you because you are faithful to forgive and to cleanse them from all unrighteousness today let your healing flow in the mind somebody your captivity is in your mind uh, right now the lord is losing you from the chains of the captive of the enemy there is a demon always whispering to you for you to commit suicide oh my father right now i bind your spirit of suicide i bind you right now and i cast you out you are free in the name of jesus there is a torment thought somebody there is always a thought you think that you are the one speaking to yourself but it is an evil spirit always speaking to you and right now I come against you evil spirit tormenting this soul in the name of Jesus I declare the power of God sets them free you are free from tormenting thoughts you are free from that suicidal thought you are free from the guilt of your sin as you come to the Lord today. I see the Lord receiving you. I see the Lord folding, uh, uh, wrapping his arms around you and welcoming you like the prodigal son. It's a new day for you. Throughout this week, I'm going to display how the love of God has really saved us. And for everyone, we are trusting God that you will behold this love of God. In the name of Jesus, today is Monday the 18th of july our time is over we want to make declaration we declare that this day is blessed throughout this week we call forth for the blessings of god blessed shall you be in your going out blessed shall you be in your coming in you cannot be a victim you cannot be you cannot be under the captivity of the enemy whatever spell the enemy have released we declare in the name of jesus they are frustrated we declare right now the counsel of god prevails all that god have declared over this week week that is how it will be and therefore we declare that every demonic spell released into today we shake it off in the name of Jesus every wickedness those the enemy have released sudden death accident affliction infirmity setback father we reverse it in the name of Jesus you go forth into your business you go forth into whatever you do and the blessing of God is released upon it in the name of Jesus your going out is blessed your coming in is blessed in the name of Jesus. God bless you. We love you. We trust the Lord to move your life from glory to glory. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Have a wonderful day. In Jesus name. Mighty Amen. Hallelujah. Mighty man of war. Lion of Judah. He's the lion of Judah. Hallelujah. We bow down. Oh.